What's up, y'all? It's Daniel coming to you from the Drone Fly Workshop. Today, I'm gonna tell you all about Autel's smallest drones from the Evo Nano series. Don't go anywhere because you are going to want to see this one. The Evo Nano series is an excellent first drone to get your feet wet. Whether you're using it as a hobbyist or for enterprise purposes, it's a very capable drone in a minuscule package. The Evo Nano series is composed of two models, the Evo Nano and the Evo Nano Plus. Each share the same form factor and features, but use different cameras attached to their three axis gimbals. The Evo Nano comes with a half inch 48 megapixel sensor with a fixed 2.8 aperture lens. It's capable of shooting Ultra HD up to 30 frames per second and 48 megapixel stills. That's a lot of power for a drone that's not that much bigger than a cell phone. The Evo Nano Plus upgrades the camera to a larger sized 0.8 inch 50 megapixel sensor with a fast aperture f1.9 lens and a dual autofocusing system that uses phase detection and contrast detection to achieve excellent performance. This camera is capable of shooting Ultra HD up to 30 frames per second and HD up to 60 frames per second at the same bit rate. Although the specs of each one of these sensors don't seem worlds apart, the larger sensor on the Plus, its fast 1.9 aperture and its newly developed RYYB color filter array offers a huge upgrade in low light imagery. Besides the difference in camera performance, all other features of the Nano series are the same. Let's take a look at what makes this small drone such a big contender. First, this drone weighs in at a featherweight 249 grams, which puts it under the infamous 250 gram weight limit, which in many regions does not require any credentials to fly. It offers a very respectable flight performance for its small size and weight. It can stay up in the air 28 minutes and has a max speed of 33 miles per hour. For safety, it offers three-way obstacle avoidance, front, back, and below to make sure you keep your drone in one piece. It also offers tracking capability as well, in what Autel calls Dynamic Track 2.1. You're able to track a moving person, vehicle, or anything else so you can concentrate on flying rather than where to point the camera. One of the best additions to some of Autel's newest drones is the new remote control. It offers a solid feel and excellent ergonomics in a slick package. No more antennas to move around, the phone holder is the antenna. It offers a new transmission system called Skylink, which uses two frequencies to transmit 2.7K video up to a half mile away, and 1080p after that up to 6.2 miles away, giving you crisp and clear images on your display device. Also coupled with the controller is the new Sky app. This is Autel's redesigned controller app that looks great and is simple to use, making it easy for an even first time flyer to pick it up and go. And as always, with Autel's drones, there is no geofencing. This means that you'll never find yourself in a situation where the drone won't take off or fly because of your location. Some of the standout features are the ability to record audio from the controller while you're flying and what they're calling super download, which allows you to offload your full size or downsized files directly to your phone at a quick 20 megabytes per second, which could be excellent for quick and easy sharing. So that's all you need to know about the Autel Evo Nano series. If you have any questions about the Evo Nano series, give us a call email us or visit our website at dronefly.com. Make sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think. My name's Daniel and I'll see you next time.